An administration transition is when uh, services move from one provider to another. It can take the form of a change of uh, administration from an in-house team to a third party administrator or between different third party administrators. Um, these types of projects can last anywhere between three months and one year, depending on the complexity and the size of the scheme being transferred. And they're often regarded as one of the most high risk um, administration projects due to the number of stakeholders involved, the type of data that's being transferred, and the nature of the services that are transferring as well. Um, things like pension and payroll are often regarded as very high risk and very high priority for trustees. So making sure there's enough controls around those processes is absolutely key. Well, these types of projects should really involve all of the key stakeholders from a pension scheme. Typically, you'd see the projects being structured to include the uh, seeding administrator, the receiving administrator, but also trustees and scheme sponsors uh, should be represented on the uh, project plan as well. Scheme trustees really should be taking on a sponsorship role within the plans, so their role within uh, the project is really to act as a budgetary control, also to act as a point of escalation should any work streams fall behind or issues be, be, be encountered. Scheme sponsors also need to participate in the projects as well because there are going to be some major changes to core communication suites. They also need to think about how their members are getting uh, communicated with throughout the project. It's a fairly major change. And then finally, they also need to think about data interfaces and uh, data exchanges between the new administrator. Scheme matries can sometimes be involved in these types of projects, but they tend to take on a very transactional role. So they'll be involved in certain particular work streams, like signing off calculation specifications, but they're not always involved from day one or throughout the project. They tend to be called in if there's a specific requirement for them. Well, there are really three key risks um, involved in a transition project. The first one will probably not be a surprise. It's data, making sure that data is accurate, complete as part of the transition pro project. So it's a really uh, perfect time for trustees and other key stakeholders to take a root and branch review of all of the data that's being held and managed by the administrator. So analysis needs to be performed on whether data being transferred is both complete, but also an opportunity to look for any inaccuracies or inconsistencies in the underlying data. And if they are found, um, then they don't necessarily have to be fixed as part of the transition programme, uh, but a project plan should be put in place to correct those issues immediately after services go live. The second major risk is around knowledge transfer. So as services transfer to a new provider, there is a very real risk that knowledge and expertise that's been built up around the scheme over many years could potentially be lost. So lots of work needs to go in to make sure that effective tools and processes are put in place to make sure that that knowledge is captured and transferred. Finally, um, as part of these transition uh, programmes, the incumbent administrator will have some additional work to undertake to transition the scheme, and that's likely to put on additional stress in terms of existing resources. So the day-to-day -day work still needs to be delivered throughout these programmes. So lots of work needs to be put in to make sure that there's enough resources and mitigations in place to make sure that if there are any pressures they can be dealt with. And finally, lots of controls around when live services transfer as well to make sure that nothing's lost or fall, falls between the gaps. So time is really the key ingredient to make a really successful uh, transition project. Enough time has to be given over to the overall programme to make sure that every stakeholder has enough time to complete the work expected of them. But also some careful thinking needs to go behind where the live date will sit in a scheme's timetable. So you'd never want to have a scheme going live that's very close to a key scheme event, such as an audit uh, taking place, pension increases or benefit statements. And enough time should really be given between a live date and the first significant scheme event within uh, the planning process. The other really important ingredient is to make sure that there is a really good quality um, testing and assurance plan that sits alongside the project management plan. So most project management plans for a transition will be concerned with transferring services, but they may not be directly concerned with the quality testing that needs to go in. So a good quality assurance plan also needs to back up a effective transition. Before embarking on an administration transition, people really need to think about how they're going to exit from their current service provider. So they need to think about and examine what protections they have 
in place under their current service agreement um, about how they will exit their current providers. So that inc should include a schedule of services that will be provided on exit and what charges uh, will be charged for providing those services. Now, if they're not in place, then they need to have those conversations now with their current service provider before they start a migration process. Because if they're not in place, it can lead to high costs and slow down the initial parts um, of the project. The second thing that people need to think about is who will participate in the project and what time they've got to devote to this. And that should include trustees, scheme sponsors, as well as the incumbent provider um, as well. And then finally, people need to think about the timetabling, where this process will sit in a scheme's overall timetable, and what key dates, uh, important dates, they have coming up in their scheme calendar. So for example, if there's a triannual valuation um, that's upcoming, where they would see the transition uh, process sitting within that overall timetable. I'd be happy to speak to anybody about this subject in more detail or answer any questions that they may have. And my contact details can be found on our website, which is www.trafalgarhouse.co.uk.